there, Master Hallish here, and welcome back to my coding game Let's Play. If you've missed any of the videos in this series, you can check out the link to the playlist in the video description. I'm Master Hallish, and for more information about me, head out to masterhallish.net, where you can also find the link to my Discord to get involved with everything that I do. Now, here, this is Coding Game, and we're doing it in Python. This is not a tutorial for Coding Game or a tutorial for Python. This is my journey through exploring and learning Python. So if you're looking for tutorials about how to do stuff, you might want to look elsewhere. But if you want to see how I get on and listen to my thoughts and kind of problem solving processes as I go, then you're in a good place. So here we go. We are on the power of Thor episode one. So for this one, it says your program must allow Thor to reach the light of power. So we've got uh, a grid here where we in the top left-hand corner is zero. We've got X and Y coordinates by the looks of it. And this is the rules. Thor moves on a map which is 40 by 18, 40 wide by 18 high. Okay, cool. Uh, this means the top left corner is zero, zero, and the bottom right is 39, 17. Cool, because we count from zero, remember? And it says, uh, once the program starts, you are given uh, the X coordinate for the light, the Y coordinate for the light, and the initial X for the starting position of Thor. Okay, so that is this section of the code here. So we're given these variables, like where the light is, where Thor is. Uh, at the end of the game turn, you must output a direction in which you want Thor to go. So north northeast east southeast south southwest and so forth so we've got all the cardinal directions which is displayed in the bottom corner which is fine that's all good and each movement takes uh moves thor by one cell in the chosen direction so that's all good as well the victory conditions we win when thor reaches the light of power good loss conditions thor moves outside the map okay fair enough so we've got various different phases here and rounds and things we have to do. We've got stuff like where we have to go in a straight line up and easy angles and things like that. And it gives us the game input. So uh, this is the game input here. So it tells us those pieces of information. And we've also got the number of remaining turns for Thor to reach the light of power. Okay, so remaining turns. The remaining amount of time Thor can move. Do not remove this line. Fair enough. And then we need to print a direction. So at the minute, it just tells Thor to go southeast. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to work out a way of figuring out where the light is in relation to Thor and then go there. Right, um, we might have a lot of if conditions here, but let's see what we can do. Right, so first of all, we need to figure out which direction we're going to go. Uh, we know where the light is and we know where Thor is. I suppose... We could kind of count and move and keep note of where Thor is now because we only know the starting positions like initial TX, Thor X and Thor Y. So what we could do is also add a Thor X and Thor Y so we know where Thor is. So Thor X and Thor Y and at the beginning they're going to be equal to the initials. But as we go through, it says here that, uh, I'm pretty sure it said that Thor moves one cell. So moving diagonal in this is still moving by one. But it will be one in both the X and Y directions. So we can actually track where Thor is if we want to and use that. Let's use that. Okay. So we want to move towards the light. Let's just start writing stuff and see what happens. So we'll say... If Thor's X position is less than the light X position. Actually, I've just noticed a little trick we can do here. What we can do is we can now... <laughs> all right. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. We've, these are the cardinal directions we've got to deal with. Uh, all eight of them. The four main ones and the ones in between. 
what we could do is because northeast begins with north and um and southeast begins with south we can determine whether we want to go up or down first and then if we want to add an east or a west afterwards to that string so then what we need to do is we need to have a variable called like direction where we're going to store that and we'll we'll store it in a blank string to be we'll, we'll initialize it with a blank string to begin with um, and then what we'll say is we need to do the uh, let's do the north and south first so that's the y direction on this it's a little bit weird so looking at the picture north and south is y plus and minus so we don't want light y we want light y and thor y there's the there's the y's we put our colon on the end and tab down and of course we get our indentation which is important and we're going to say we're going to say that if thor's position is less than the light's position so Thor is closer to the top than the light we need to go south so remember the top of the screen is y0 and the bottom of the screen is y17 so if Thor's position is less than the light we need to go south so if Thor's position is less than the light we need to go direction equals s now, oh, I accidentally tabbed up. There we go. And we just get rid of that line. So we're going south. If, and we're going to do with a brand new line of if now, the um, if Thor's y direction is greater than the light's y direction, we're going to tell him, tell Thor to go north now i've done this on purpose as not using else because if i put an else in here then with the fact that we've got this less than if these two things are equal to each other the else will be triggered and i don't want that to happen i don't want thor to go south or north if they're if thor's on the same y line because if we look at the image up here I don't know if I can make that too much bigger. I can. So if Thor is on the same vertical line as the light, we don't want to go north or south. We only want to go east or west. So in that situation, we don't even add a north or south. So we've only got those ifs. Now let's deal with east and west. If Thor's x direction, or x coordinate I should say, is less than the light's uh, the light's x direction didn't mean to do that then we're going to tell Thor to go which way maybe pause the video here if you want to check out and try and work it out so let's have a look so Thor the x direction starts uh, top left is 0 and it goes positive towards the right so we're going to say if Thor's um, position is less than the light's position so less than would mean closer to zero so if Thor's on the left and the lights on the right we need to travel east and we can put east and then we can say something similar and say well if it's greater and so it's the other way around we need to travel west now this is not quite done yet but it will actually work uh, probably maybe for the straight line one think it probably will let's do it anyway no it won't won't it won't it won't I forgot to do something uh, at the minute at the minute we need we're just outputting southeast I didn't mean to do that we need to give the direction and output output that there we go let's try that again so there you can see Thor is traveling towards the light he's got his armor and his gray floppy hair and his red cape and he's going over towards the light bingo bango jobs are good now for a straight line that works and I bet for up that works too there you go look our code is working fine 
the code saying our ah, Thor's position is great on the Y axis is greater than the light. So Thor's position um, is greater than that, and then it, we need to go north. Now the problem is, is we've we've got two problems. First of all, we don't go diagonally with our code because we only go in one of these directions. And the second one is, is we're not actually tracking Thor's position. We're not changing this position. We're only getting the initial position and keeping it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of code that updates the position. Um, so we're going to say, if we're telling Thor to go south, then his position is equal to his current Y position plus 1. And if we're telling Thor to go north, then the new Y position is going to be the current Y position minus 1. If I do the right symbol. And it's similar over here. So if we're heading east, then Thor's new position on the X axis, if we're heading east, is plus 1. And if we're heading west, Thor's new X position is the X position minus 1. Okay, so we are updating these new positions each time to tell um, the next loop where Thor's actually is now because in our initial input we don't know where Thor is now we only know where he where he was at the beginning so we've added our own Thor tracker to it now we've added our own Thor tracker we can add something else and that something else is the diagonals northeast southeast or southwest um, I think this code might work if we go in a easy angle but not if we go in an optimum angle. I'm not sure. Let's run it for easy angle without adding the other stuff and see what happens. So for easy angle, it uh, Thor is currently heading west. And Thor will keep heading west until Thor gets directly above the light. And then Thor... Sh oh no, that's it then. Expected movement, but we didn't get it. So what did we, we got a blank. Why did we get a blank? Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so we've gone down here. So... Hmm, interesting. So Thor's position was 2-4, and the light is at 17. Then it was 1-4, and the light is at 17. Then Thor moved to 0, 4, and the light was at 17. I think we didn't satisfy any of the criteria, and we should have done. We should have headed south. Why didn't we head south? Hmm. We, get, we, we ended up passing in a blank, which is just kind of like the default. So why did this not happen? Uh, well, Thor, ah, right, Thor's Y value, which we don't know what that is. We could do uh, print to debug here to, to get that value as we go. So let's do that. So let's just say, um, in, I mean, I think I know what I could do to resolve this, but we'll, we'll do it bit by bit. So we'll say the debug message is just Thor's Y position constantly. And we'll see if that updates correctly how we'd like it to. So you can see, look. The Y position is kind of working, but it's also not. It just kept going up and up and up. So there's something weird with our game loop that... Is not right. What's not right here? So, for some reason, TY was increasing by 1. Oh, I see. Wow, okay. So, in terms of directions, it's running through this and saying, yep, uh, we need to head south at some point. So that becomes true and Y increases. But then later down here it says, ah, we actually need to head west. So it does that as well. 
which means as we're heading west, we're actually increasing the Y value of our tracker, and that's no good. Right. Hmm. We need a way of redoing this tracker, because the tracker is counting movements even if that is not the final movement. I think what we need to do is, is probably rework this. Yeah. Okay, I need to think about this. So, we only want this or that to go. We don't want both. Um, we could do some really complex stuff, but I'm trying to keep it relatively simple, especially in this early stage of this. I mean, we could get rid of the tracker. It might work, I think. I don't know, actually. I think it would still work if we got rid of the tracker. We don't need this debug now. We know what was going on. We saw what was going on. So let's see what the next thing is. Okay, we only want this to activate and actually count if we end up going in that direction. But we don't know if we end up going south because we get overridden by the west. Hmm. I've got an idea. Okay. I could work a way round to fixing these bits. But the next stage is actually to add these diagonals. And I think adding the diag diagonals will actually resolve the issue. So what we're going to do is for the east and west, instead of overwriting the direction with east or west, we're going to append the direction with east or west. So it's going to be a direction plus east, direction plus west. And that means that we check to see if we want to go south. If we do, we add S to direction, and we, we count it. And then later we check to see if we want to go west, and we do, so we add a W to the direction. Not set it to, we add it on, and then we do that as well. Which means that when we output direction, it'll actually be southwest, and we will count the south and the west. That actually resolves the issue and adds the functionality for diagonals. So let's do that. Easy angle. So you can see this time we're going southwest and we are increasing our positions um, in a nice angle towards that. And then once we got on the right wide direction, we just started heading west only. Hey, it worked. Fantastic. Let's have a look at an optimal angle test play. And you can see here, Thor again seeks the angle. It will always do the diagonal first with the code that I've written and then go across. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. There we go. So we solved two problems in one with that bit of code. If we wasn't putting the diagonals in, tracking Thor would have to be done differently. But with this bit of code, it actually works quite nicely. So there we go. That is the power of Thor episode one. And that is pretty much the end of this episode. We'll submit that and we get a little score come through and we can say, yep, we did some condition stuff. There we go. Well, thank you very much for watching. Leave all your thoughts, ideas, and questions down in the comments section. Remember, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like and maybe subscribe to see more videos like this. And I will see you sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. And for now, goodbye.